if you're even asking this question, you're behind the times. You need to start using this skill more with Protea, yeah. But here you go. Walk over to your Void Relics screen right next to your arsenal. Tap X or whichever button is the right one for you and then people will be whispering you too, want to buy stuff. Type in here Protea, select the right relics, Protea Prime Blueprint drops from. As you see when you press tab or whichever button it is for you, Void Uko, that is a capture mission. That's the best place, that's the blazing place. It's the best place to get that one. There are a ton of missions you can get it from. So if you have a different favorite, time flies when you're having fun. So go there instead. XCP7, in my experience, the best place for that is Pluto Cerberus if you have a squad as it's an interception mission. Little tough to solo, even if you're going in with Nova, can be done. But Deimos Armatus Disruption is really good for this. And you do, of course, get Protea Prime Chassis from that. Other missions, Lua Apollo Disruption is also really good. Or just pick any mission from that entire list. Yeah, they are all good if you enjoy them, you know. Lith P9 for Protea Prime Systems. And you're going to want to go to Void Hepit, Hepit. Mm, other missions you can go to, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend any other ones. That's really the best one, and I'll tell you why. You get the chance to get this relic. It's always just a chance, based on a drop pool, for a one-minute run. And you can do that consistently in the Void Capture missions. Neo P6 relic, you get Protea Prime Neuroptics, or a chance for the relic, and then a chance for the actual set piece. Drops from Lua Apollo, so Lua Disruption, Deimos Armatus, Deimos Disruption, Pluto Cerberus, so Cerberus is really worth going to, and Lua Apollo is really worth going to, because you get a chance for both relics from different rotations. And, you know, if you like Railjack, you can also go to Vale, that's the high-level Railjack places. Mm, yeah, I think we've been over everything now. As stated, Lua Disruption, Deimos Disruption, Pluto, Cerberus, Interception, those are the big, like, three missions and the two Void missions for these ones. That being said, it's um, sometimes necessary to shift things, to switch things up, because you can kind of burn out on running the same mission over and over and over. So you see Void Capture there and Void Capture here. Uko for the blueprint and heap it for the prime systems and P7 once again Pluto Cerberus or Deimos Disruption Armatus mission. Yeah, you could also combo it and I do really recommend switching the missions that you run. You could also combo it with farming Citrine because this drops on Tiana Pass. If you go that route, you get this crazy um, valuable arcane called secondary encumber a set of this sells for 300 platinum so also very worth using yourself on for instance your kuva new core or status primer of choice uh, epitaph is also really good for priming yeah you get citrine you get Corufel if you go there and you get the steflos rifle Citrine is one of the best support frames in the game. Made a video about her and her interaction with Operator. She gets you easy red crits for your ranged weapons and even gun blades, gun scythes when you shoot the crystals. Um, gives you 90% damage reduction for you and your squad. Gives you priming on everything with like this AoE crystal when you shoot targets and infinite energy through her first ability, which is her subsume as well. So it's worth grinding her twice. Corufel is the only gun scythe in game. It does a lot of heat damage on a big AoE explosion. Looks super cool, featured in my favorite melee weapons video. Steflos is a good-ish shotgun rifle thing. It's pretty fun, but it's not gonna beat any Incarnons to be real with you. Still good though. It's her signature weapon, Citrine's signature weapon. So that just about covers it. 
As said, if you do have other favorite missions, definitely run those. Don't always just go for efficiency or you will burn out. Have fun with your friends and family and, you know, if, if you're still on speaking terms, lol. Um, yeah, that's this video over and out. I'll just end it with a very quick void capture mission run so you really do see I'm not talking out my arse. You can run these missions super, super fast. We'll use our boy Excalibur. He has uh, teleport subsumed and we'll go on a solo run. The thing is, sometimes you get people who like to run around and make the mission last twice as long or they're just slow. Um, yeah, nice little ship here. The Mantis with the I Samdali Elite Deep Archimedia reward. It's what it was on his nose, so to speak. And yeah, this guy needs to die, so let's do him the favor of that. Cordon is doing something. Okay, so now you just teleport all over the place until you reach your destination, which in our case is marked by the green point. Okay, we took a wrong turn. Sometimes there's like Argon crystals in those rooms, so it's not terrible if you don't go to exactly the right place. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. So there's a whole load of running. You can also just go with like Vault, Gauss, Nezra, Titania. If you can control her speed, she's actually the fastest frame in the game, faster even than Arcwings. And we got a Velox Riven, Velox Prime Barrel. I have seen like 20% of the time Protea Relics drop, so pretty fast. For other methods to get these faster, but you can only use it like it's a stockpile method, but you do get them a lot faster on their release, so you make a lot of platinum. Uh, watch my other video on top three methods to get this and any other prime Warframe. Enjoy!